everybody, Jason here. Uh, <clears throat> been a while since I've uploaded a uh, car video. I've been a little more focused on getting a couple of videos out that take a little more production time. <clears throat> um, the uh, Warhammer box set um, part two, I guess, video, the, the remake of that, <laughs> that, the reboot of that video, and uh, the unboxing or first look, I guess, because it wasn't really in a box, it was shrink wrapped of the uh, Princess Bride role-playing game and not my best work but those are more uh, in-depth and take a little more time to produce rather than just uh, hit the record button and then upload it once I get home but uh, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed those videos and uh, I'll try to keep making more better quality production videos like that in the future because I really do enjoy that kind of stuff. I, I like it a lot. Um, these ones with the phone are just a lot more convenient when I've got a train of thought running through my head. But anyway, that's what this video is about. So I've been thinking um, a little bit lately. You know, I own a ton of books. I don't play and will never play 99% of the books or games that I own, but I still find lots of inspiration from them or just have fun reading them. But that got me to thinking, <clears throat> do you guys have any uh, books from game lines that you have not played and probably will never play or maybe don't want to play, but you own books or a book from that game or game line that you still open and read for inspiration for use in other areas, whether it be other games, <clears throat> writing, drawing, other types of art, but mainly role-playing focused. Like, do you have any, like, a source book from this uh, adventure, you know, this game line that you know you'll never play that, but there's a certain source book from it, or even a rule book that you, that you keep cracking open and reading and, and using um, and finding good inspiration from it for your games? Um, I've got a few. I've got a few like that that I will open up from time to time. Um, not necessarily for mechanics. Sometimes for mechanics, but, but mostly for uh, some of it's game design. <clears throat> some of it is just um, fluff and inspiration for story or world design or character histories or backgrounds or just story ideas in general <clears throat> or or and a lot of it really honestly isn't necessarily a story idea or a uh, an inspiration for uh, how to create a world or an adventure path or an adventure um, module or anything in particular some of it literally is just for mood there are certain books I'll open up and read that I won't use anything in it to to further any mechanical goal that I have of creating something or any to finish a storyline that I'm trying to think of or create some of it literally is just for me like music I'll turn it or I'll open the book and I'll read it just to get a mood in my head or um, like to set a theme or an ambiance that's more literal like uh, like in my brain rather than uh, music or a movie or something but sometimes I look at books almost like music and that they can set a certain theme for me and get me in a certain frame of mind to do what I want to do, whether it's work on mechanics or work on fluff for a, 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 a world that I'm half-assed writing in a notebook that I may forget about in a week, you know? Because uh, I've got, my, my wife hates it. I've got little post-it notes all over the house or little pieces of paper from a uh, the real small legal pads, the real little miniature uh, white and yellow paper legal pads, full of you know role-playing game notes and ideas and stories and mechanic ideas and things like that, just everywhere all over the house, which she hates. But uh, so yeah, there are certain books that I, I have that every once in a while I'll crack open and dig through, and, and whether it's just a couple of pages or I'll read a whole chapter, or even some of it's just the art. Uh, that can help set a mood. Some of it is um, <clears throat> background information about the, the, the game and the world itself. It puts me in a certain mood to help me be creative or things like that. 
I'm gonna do a follow-up video to this of a couple of those books and show you guys some of the stuff that um, kind of gets my brain in the mood uh, to, to be creative. And now when I say creative, I don't necessarily write a lot of stuff that would go out to the public or be released to friends. Like, I wouldn't give these things to friends, but sometimes I write role-playing game stuff, not necessarily for use in a game, but I write a lot of role-playing game stuff for my own, like, emotional and mental therapy just to be creative. So, and that's partly what these videos are for also. But anyway, um, just a short video. Let me know if you guys have any special books like that. Uh, you know, games you don't play, games you won't play, games you never, never will play or never want to play, but you still find some of those books for one reason or another valuable for your role playing, um, your, you know, your, your, your contribution or play of, the, of our hobby. So anyway, um, you guys got lucky today. Here's where the, the shaky road starts and I'm about to turn this off. So, uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.